Time and space are like a fabric, uh, like rubber, like a trampoline net. Let me tell you about a recent groundbreaking revelation that is going to reshape everything we thought we knew about our universe. Famous American physicist Michio Kaku has disclosed a revolutionary discovery made by none other than the remarkable James Webb Telescope, which may prove that time does not exist. As you probably know already, the James Webb Telescope was launched on the 25th of December 2021. It resides in space, bringing to light the secrets from the deepest and darkest corners of our universe. Equipped with powerful infrared instruments, this device is perfect for going back in time. And from that, I mean the most distant galaxies and celestial bodies from the early universe. Basically, James Webb is helping us big time to understand the vast puzzle of the universe. But among all these inspiring and groundbreaking discoveries, one recent finding has shaken the very core of our understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years. You see, even though the official papers and reports have been silent on the matter, the real issue lies with a theory almost everyone's been taught, the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is the idea that our universe came into being with a gigantic explosion somewhere around 14 billion years ago, and our universe has been expanding ever since. For years, this theory has been the foundation of our understanding of the cosmos. And by the way, the James Webb Space Telescope was conceived and designed to help us understand the origin of galaxies. So we shouldn't be surprised that is forcing us to scratch our head. However, the new images from the JWST now appear to challenge its accuracy, shocking the entire space community. Alison Kirkpatrick, a renowned astronomer from the University of Kansas, has been questioning her life's work after this discovery. But what is the cause of all the worries and disappointment in the space exploration community? Well, the JWST recently captured some old galaxies from the early universe. However, the weird thing is, these galaxies are not working as the Big Bang Theory suggests. They are too small, too smooth, too old, and there are countless of them. Let's simplify it. According to the Big Bang Theory, our universe is like an expanding balloon, so these galaxies should not look smaller as they move away from us. Rather, they should seem bigger as their light apparently left them when they were nearby. Surprisingly, images from the JWST showcase galaxies that are about the same size as the galaxies close to us. These galaxies seem to be two to three times smaller than the ones captured through the Hubble Space Telescope. They shine brighter and have more mass than our very own Milky Way galaxy. Moreover, these galaxies have high redshifts, which means that they are moving away from us at very high speeds. Something seems fishy here, right? Because if these galaxies are moving away from us at relatively high speeds, then, according to the Big Bang Theory, they should expand in size. However, the images from the JWST reveal galaxies that seem to be the same size as those nearby, suggesting that the universe may not be expanding as previously thought, or that these galaxies must be unimaginably small. For instance, let's look at one of the galaxies captured by the JWST, GHZ2. This galaxy is just 300 light-years in radius, in comparison to the 50,000 light-years radius of our Milky Way galaxy. It is much brighter than our Milky Way, having a brightness per unit area of 600 times that of the brightest galaxy in our local universe. Not only this, but the density of these newly observed galaxies, along with several others, would be tens of thousands of times higher than the galaxies we see around us today. Now when we consider these tiny and steady galaxies, the idea of an expanding universe and consequently the Big Bang Theory begins to crumble. That's the reason these discoveries have created a lot of debate among astronomers and cosmologists in recent years. Things have only become trickier with each discovery made by the JWST. Another thing to notice is that, according to the Big Bang Theory, these peculiar tiny galaxies merge and crash into each other over billions of years to form the full-size galaxies we observe today. However, the pictures taken by the JWST suggest otherwise. No signs of galactic mergers mean a major blow to the collision theory. The idea that these small galaxies found a way to transform and expand into a bigger version of themselves falls apart. It means that these galaxies weren't small to start with if they couldn't get bigger by colliding. The optical illusion that we would anticipate from an expanding universe doesn't appear to be there. Without this illusion, the idea of expansion loses credibility. This has led to growing discomfort 
comfort among supporters of the Big Bang theory. The presence of these small and uniform galaxies implies that the universe might not be expanding after all. And if it isn't, the Big Bang theory faces major challenges. Another point to consider is the age of stars. You see, according to the Big Bang theory, everything we know of came into being after the explosion. However, if these galaxies existed before that, then it means only one thing. The Big Bang didn't happen. In the words of Michio Kaku, consider the JWST as a time machine, able to go billions of years back into the cosmos, capturing images that showcase the very origins of our universe. This remarkable telescope isn't capturing photos in our usual visual spectrum. Instead, it's concentrated on the infrared, revealing colors of galaxies so distant that we could never see them with our naked eye. Now the interesting thing is that these colors aren't there just for the beauty of it, but they are telling a story about the age of the stars in these galaxies. Young, fiery stars shine with blue colors, while the old ones, much like our sun, glow in the hues of yellow and red. Astronomers and scientists can estimate the age of these star populations in these galaxies by examining their colors. In the pictures captured by the JWST, galaxies farthest away represent a cosmic snapshot from around 400 to 500 million years after the birth of the universe. In some of these galaxies, however, there seem to be stars that are around a billion years old. Now that's a problem. According to the Big Bang Theory, nothing should exist prior to the bang. Another thing to take into account is that if we see further and further into space, we should see fewer and fewer galaxies until we can see none. However, it looks like galaxies, almost as big as the Milky Way, were already common approximately a few hundred million years after the explosion. So, how could these galaxies come to life in such a short time? Well, the answer to that would be that they can't, at least not under the assumption of the Big Bang Theory. All this confusion is challenging our understanding of the universe's existence. Due to these recent discoveries, many things suggest that the Big Bang Theory might be wrong on quite a few things. In fact, according to recent research, the Big Bang Theory gets 16 predictions wrong. It also faces difficulties explaining these massive structures we see in the universe. It's also way off when predicting the density of matter in the universe. So what's the answer to the confusion these images have created? The James Webb Space Telescope could help us solve all these mysteries and answer every question about our universe's existence. Although these differences may seem small in the big picture of what we know about space, they're actually quite important. Each minor error is like a missing piece of a puzzle. Without all the pieces, we can't see the whole picture of how the universe works and where it came from. These aren't just any pieces of the puzzle, they're really important ones that help us understand understand space and matter better. These discoveries made by the JWST raise a serious question regarding everything we thought we knew about the formation and evolution of our universe. They challenge our understanding of the cosmic structures and the very fabric of space and time, which automatically affects our understanding of the universal expansion, gravitational waves, dark matter, and even the fate of our universe. It could even change our perspective of black holes and have implications for our understanding of time. If the Big Bang is just a theory after all, we might need to revisit how we perceive time, how it moves, and its linkage with space. So. Let's wait and hope that the JWST helps us answer all these contradictions regarding the foundation of our universe and reveal more hidden secrets in the future. If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.